that. I don't want to be the dick of you. Good luck, folks. <clears throat> oh, shit. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh, por fin un sirviente. Tal vez nos puede dar tacos. Some of you are missing. Espérame. I know it's so so quiero, quiero una número, quiero una número dos. Not to worry, ma'am. I will get to you momentarily. Hijo de gallo. Hang on, hang on. I assume you're the host. Ah, that's well, me. Uh, this Get over here, Grandma. I'm sorry, I did not hear you because this old woman's babbling in Spanish. Oh, you're the host. I'm sorry, I did not hear you because this old woman's babbling in Spanish. What were you saying? I assume this is your house, uh, right? Yes. Please don't go through uh, my things. To look for you. <laughs> I apologize. Well, that's just rude, isn't it? I apologize. So, um, I woke up in here and I uh, <clears throat> I can't seem to leave. Hmm. Well, that's because you were pissed drunk when you arrived. The rest of you were giving oh. invitations. And so, good to see you all. If you don't remember me, my name is Gregor Brunswick. And I am the richest man here in New York. I've invited you all nice here. Nice to meet you, Baker. We're all pals, remember? <laughs> My mistress and we came to your party, your birthday. Yes, I was about to get to that. All of you have some sort of connection to me or my family, and it is an absolute pleasure to have you here again. Tongo, that concert that you put on for my grandson was amazing. I have no idea that there was any kind of musical talent in that dumpy body of yours, but you never ceased to amaze me. And I'm glad you could bring your grandmother as your plus one. Very strange, if not questionable, but I'm very happy to meet her. And Sunshine, the amount of work that you did for my business's website, how could I not bring you here as gratitude? There will be drinks, food, and festivities for every last one of you. And of course, the mistress Mia and her close attendee. How could I ever thank you enough for the amount of uh, coverage that you have given to me with your little news agency? Ha! Huh. I probably never would have made it as big as I did if it wasn't for you embedding an agent inside of my own business. Granted, we both know it's business. You probably had your own reasons to do so, but I thank you nonetheless. And of course, you're the only person I don't know. Well, I got it. Oh. She come with you? What did you mean? Oh no, well I, I well I just woke up in here, so you assumed that was You didn't drunk wake up in I here, you were drunk. drunk, you fool. Well whatever. But I assume you know my name. Well I seem to not know, know who I am right now and why I'm here. How do you not what know your own by? name? Well your name well, is you're, you're von Leibowitz! Oh of course. Um How do you forget your own prestigious title? You're a man of great renown well, in your I, own my, country. I, I kind of had aches, so... Well, I drink will do I, that to you. Easy, I guess. All right, we'll get back to you. And of course, of course, come here. Come here. You know, you know, my brother-in-law, Sir Yop Francis Drake. Come here, give me a hug. Buddy, it's buddy. So good to it's see you again. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, so I hope the family business has been going well, and uh, you will give my regards no, to your family, of course. Extremely well, and I'm I am so happy to be here. Excellent. You excellent. have no idea. You and I will speak more in a moment. Please, I have already taken up enough of your time. I still don't know who that woman is in the back. I'm assuming she came with one of you. Who are you, Miss? Um, I, I think she's a little shy. How about you come with me, Grandma? Let's go talk her up some bit. I'm sorry, sir. Is it okay if I can escort my grandma yes, to her? Absolutely. Mr. Butler, man. Uh, 
I know the boy's not all there. Absolutely, we're done with introductions. Please go make yourselves at home. You're going we to should go see them. Oh, we should go see them to oversee. They don't take anything. Yes, I'm sure she came with one of you. I saw you come in the same limousine, but please do find out her name. I'd like to give her a warm welcome. Let's go. You sure this isn't one of your children, bro? Like, you've been pretty, uh, you're pretty crazy back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was very long time ago. Come on, now. You know that? I'm a completely You know I can't forget those kind of things. Ever since my dear wife died, I've never taken another woman. But let us not speak of such sad things. Uh, Lord Leibowitz, you were going to tell me something. Yes, I had a question, sir. Uh, why do you have a gun in your hand? Because well, this is the U.S. of A. Absolutely. Where oh, else would you have I'm a gun? European. We don't have guns over here. No, we don't oh. use them. Oops. Oh shit! All right, no? just dropped it. These things happen, you know. That's it. It's all right. You get so used to it when you live with them for a while. Uh, you get used to it. I uh, have Parkinson's. Sometimes it's an issue, oh. and I just I can't. <laughs> you should see. I'm missing a couple toes from that one time that you <laughs> dropped it while we're eating dinner. That's right. I carry this with me everywhere. <laughs> Bedroom. That was a hilarious shower. trip to the hospital. <laughs> it was. It was hard explaining to the doctor. Why I waved a gun in their face. But anyway, please go make yourselves at home. Go on. Don't wait for me. I'll be in my study if anyone has any questions. Um, you know, just just get acquainted. For sure, for sure. Let's go. Listen, bro. Yes. We need to have a discussion about something important. Is everything okay? I hope you have found your accommodation suitable. Oh, yes, yes. It's it's actually amazing. Good, good. There is a small favor that I need to ask of you. A favor? Just small. You know, you know, uh, you remember about, you remember Cuba? I, though we agreed never speak about it again. Why do you bring it up now? Is the grandma going here? The addiction follows me from Cuba. What do you what do you mean? What the hell? They're upstairs. <laughs> I did Whoa, tell, it's that! I did tell them to make themselves at home. That painting opens up! Yeah, there's a lot of strange passageways in this old house, but go ahead, you were saying. Well you see, ever since the incident in Cuba. I've been slowly falling into debt. Is this about money again? Don't say it like that. You know I hate it when you say it like that. The only time that you ever speak to me is when you need money. I was hoping bringing you here would show a little bit more of goodwill from my side of the family to yours, but you haven't even waited 10 minutes and you're asking for money for a fourth time. Come on, man. It's not. This is a big deal. Like these guys are the. These guys are the Norwegian mafia. Wait. They'll Ooh. kill me. What do you Norway, mean? the Norwegian mob. How do you owe money to the Norwegian so, mafia? Well, there was a guy that I met who said, "Hey, we can bet." I know a race, a horse race that's rigged. You just gotta bet it on Granny Manny, one of their top horses. All right. And so I thought this is incredible information. I can make millions off of this. They tricked you, didn't they? Granny Manny was a goat. They tricked me. They were racing a goat in a horse race. Who does that? People who rig a horse race, you know better than to get involved with these kinds of people. You know. You know I can't help it. Uh, you have to help. You know I have a problem. Do you understand that you have familial ties to me? Excuse me. That what you get in, not right now. Please wait downstairs with the rest of the guests. Oh, okay. I 
just wanted to check up on her. Not right now! You know that you have familial ties to me, and the things that you do reflect on my half of the family. They reflect upon me. I have put my reputation on the line for you. You don't think I know that? You don't think I you don't think I don't actually think about this every day sitting in my studio apartment in Alabama? <sighs> Look. What do you need from me? Tell me. As much as I hate your addiction, and I hate your way of dealing with things, I don't want to see some of my own blood getting hauled away by some mafia. I need $200,000 by next week. You've got to be kidding me. You know that the familial ties that we have doesn't guarantee that I can just give whenever I need to. I have businesses to run, and in case you didn't know, this is more of a show of good faith. I don't have the money for this. You know that my business has been in decline. You know that the copper mines are drying up. Everything is moving on to iron and steel now. You know I could do anything. You can hire me to do anything. I'm good at a lot of things. Look, I can give you- I can work it off, I swear to you. I can pay it off in a month. I can give you the money, but there's one other thing that we have to talk about. Two things. The first one is, the only way that I'm going to give you this money is under the condition that you pay me back as soon as you can. You haven't Duh. paid me back any of the other times, but this stops this time. I will erase a whole all new the me. other debt you have with me if you pay this back, do you understand? New yup, right here. Fresh start. New yup. You're gonna get all your money back, and I guarantee it. Oh, but like, I guarantee it! Alright, second point. The Norwegian Mafia isn't known to just let the debtors walk around and be free. How are you here right now? To be honest, I think I was followed. What do you mean you were followed? I'm a month Gentlemen. over my... We have heard your plight. I heard you need to... Your brother needs to borrow some money. Are you lurking in my walls? We built the house, remember? You contracted us when you wanted this house built. That doesn't mean you can lurk and eavesdrop on my conversations with my family. That's what you pay us for, for information, remember? What about it? Just don't... Mr. Matterman! Please! We're busy. I'm speaking to my family. <laughs> Anything that is happening out there needs to wait and stop. Close my doors. As I, I was saying, we can provide the collateral for your brother. We need you to do our favor for us. And so the spider web continues to grow. Let me guess, there is a service that the Red Mistress requires of my family again. The Red Mistress had been hurt by the cartel. The old lady is one of the matriarchs of the cartel. We wish to get rid of her. We shall provide the collateral for your brother. Hey, hey put if that you... gun back down what on the, the table. Put the gun back down on the table. Now's not the time for games, lad. I understand. I'll let you shoot it later. Just leave it there. Thank you very much. And please, I can't believe I'm saying this. Go back in the wall. Thank you. Close the door behind Brother. you next time you creep in my rooms. Yes. I have to say, the old lady looks strangely Norwegian. There's no way. I do, there's no way that they would send the matriarch herself after you. I don't believe it. Are you certain of this information? I am certain. It's all a ploy. Her being seen now. It's all a ploy. As soon as she gets a hold of a weapon, she is a deadly thing to be feared. Oh. You remember the Norwegian fox, right? The Norwegian fox of death? 
the tail, yes. How Excuse many me. times um, have I had to say to close my door? I, I believe uh, the grandson, I don't know where the grandmother is, by the way. The grandson has been in your uh, painting there, by the way, I yes, believe. Yes, he walked in, he went... grabbed my gun, and left, and then came back and gave me my gun. Thank you. Yes, I saw him run back, and I haven't seen him. I'm sure he's making himself at home like you should be, away from my office. <laughs> Alright, yes, 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 my lord. <clears throat> anyway. So let me guess, this intertwined. You owe money to the Norwegian Mafia. The matriarch is here herself to watch over you and make sure that you either do not squeal or do not escape your debts. And you have a conflict of interest, mistress. And you yes. have the same target taken out. Exactly. We can end this right here, right now. I don't want to hear it from you. This is because of you. I would be able to turn down the mistress and her spider whip of affairs if it wasn't for my own blood getting into trouble over and over again. We'll talk more about this later. For now, I accept your terms. And I'll find out a way to get rid of this matriarch as long as you pay his debts and you cover the costs. His debts will be paid, correct? You heard the mistress. You're so kind. I can commit the deed. Thank you. I can commit the deed if you cannot do it, Sir Brunswick. We're can, old friends. I can take care of it. Just I'm above take... getting my hands dirty. Uh, listen, I'll take care of it. We've been in here together far too long. If your assumption is correct, go out, mingle with the guests, and I'll get to work. We'll get to it then. Let's get going. Get out of my sight. Oh, there's the Lord. Yes. It appears some people there's have been people missing, missing, my Lord. There's much less people now. What do you mean? The old lady, her son, they're missing. And the they must have heard of us. They lady must have heard well. we were about to assassinate them. They're gone. God damn it. If word gets back that I'm involved, he may have put my whole family in danger. Do you hear that, Lord? The door opened down that hallway. Do, do you want to go check? That's just my brother. That's your brother. <clears throat> if they heard that conversation, my family's in danger. You find that woman and you tell me where she is now. I'm going to the check mysterious the mysterious one wing. or the old lady? The old lady. have put me in danger and now my close family I hope um, you understand the risk that I've taken for you I came prepared I cannot allow to deal with this myself if need be I see <clears throat> I'm ashamed to bring your family danger and that's why it appears that I have lost some pages to my I want to clean up my own problems here. 
Perhaps you are a man of action after all. Very well. If we walk out of this alive, you don't have to pay me back at all. And I'll be positioned for you within my business. And I will let you start anew. Well, that's only if we take care of this. That includes the Red Mistress. She knows too much about me. Excuse me, my lord. Yes. Have you figured out who may be, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, conspiring against you? Or at least about to give information out. Why would you know about this? You had told us in the main lobby. I had a conversation with someone else. You said it in front of the, the butler, or the butler and the mistress in red. There was a conversation between in the myself main lobby. and the red mistress. Do me a favor, dear guest. Gather up the rest yes. of our friends in the lobby. I have to speak to them. Yes, my lord. She's the Norwegian. I cannot find anybody. <clears throat> even even the butler and the young mistress in red. I I cannot see them. You don't see? There's nobody else here. Not that I know of, unless if they're over on that side. Who do you work for? I worked under him. How long has this one worked for you? About three years, give or take, did a lot of the work for me online. A lot of graphical design, you know, the new age business kind of thing. However, I think we've hit a stroke of luck, brother. Oh? I detect a hint of uh, Norwegian in your accent. That is correct. Uh, my, I am uh, part Norwegian on my mother's side. What does that have to do with anything? It really doesn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! We even wrapped up the storyline! That was good! <laughs> I'm fine! Still Don't be